Hey, Jeremy. Uh, long time no talk, I guess, relatively speaking. But uh, I just watched your video on Andrew Cohen, and you know, I don't, I don't know the guy. I never met the guy. I've watched uh, some of his videos, some of his dialogues with Ken Wilber, um, and based on that, uh, you know, I can understand why you're a little suspicious. I've also um, read a few issues of his magazine. Um, but, you know, based on, you know, the video uh, impression that I've gotten from Andrew Cohen, uh, you know, I'm um, not convinced that, that he's uh, necessarily, what, uh, a true guru, but, you know, what is a guru? Because ultimately every individual, when they enter or begin um, the spiritual life or uh, begin spiritual path, they have specific karmic inheritances that require um, specific cures, things that uh, maybe other uh, spiritual seekers don't need. And so for you know, certain people, maybe Andrew Cohen is, is the, you know, the exact antidote uh, which they require to cure them of their karmic illness. A guru is a very idiosyncratic thing. Um, what is it that you need to learn? Maybe someone can learn uh, from Andrew Cohen, who themselves has a very uh, has a tendency to uh, enter into that sort of dominant alpha ego uh, state of being and, and having. Andrew Cohen around um, prevents you from expressing that too much because he's the one with the alpha ego at least you know that's sort of the agreed upon um, uh, assumptions that one enters into when you join a spiritual community with a teacher or a guru at the center um, I don't know that I would ever feel comfortable with a guru. I think I've had many teachers who I have received transmissions from by reading uh, or, or by um, watching their lectures, listening to their lectures, uh, thinking about their ideas for myself. Um, these have been my teachers and to be devoted to a human being as if they were God and not you and everyone else never really struck me as uh, especially appetizing. Maybe that's just because I haven't met the right guru. Uh, you know, some people would say that without um, having been devoted to a guru fully, you, you can't actually be initiated into you know that stuff that we like to talk about. But I'm not sure if that's true, or at least I'm not sure if such initiations can't take place um, due to other causes aside from an actual uh, human guru or spiritual master, because we're all potential masters, and you know maybe a good guru would tell you that. So the best gurus are probably those uh, that just shoo away all the students, uh, or at least. Uh, that aren't trying to keep them as students, but instead are just, you know, with uh, perhaps sort of a Shaktipat energy, just send the, the force of consciousness into them immediately so that they're awake and then they go on. They don't need to stick um, and uh, stick close to the master and sort of be weaned at, at the teats of his um, transcendent wisdom. It's transcendent, meaning it's uh, not localized within you know, her as the teacher. It's freely given to anyone. Uh, so the best gurus wouldn't have any students, you could say. But, you know, as I said, I don't know Andrew Cohen. Um, and it seems that so often we reify other people's personalities so that, you know, we, we can judge them and think that we've got uh, some sort of closed case, you know, I'm like a 
file can then be shelved because we know who they are and it's been decided. Uh, because actually when you engage someone in a dialogue, in a conversation face to face, you know, as Carl Jung said, it's like a chemical reaction taking place and your personality, your presence, um, when faced with this other person who you thought was fixed and defined, uh, your presence begins to change them and they change you and all of a sudden you've got something completely, someone completely new on your hands. So, uh, you know, we should always be careful not to prejudge others because so much of the other, so much of how the other is perceived is a function of the self whether or not the self is open or closed to the other. So, in that sense, perhaps everyone is a guru. We are all teaching each other. And the mistake is only to think that you've got it figured out or that you don't have it figured out. Both of those are mistakes. You know, we figure it out together and all that's required of us individually is a little faith, I would say, faith in each other, in our ability to uh, communicate. That's what it's all about. We got to have you back on the uh, Holon's network, Jeremy, and we can uh, communicate a little bit more about this there. Two heads, if not three heads, are better than one, right? But yeah, thank you for listening. Have a good night, Jeremy, and anyone else who's listening later.